is passing over And it feels like a dream I could run and look for shelter But you hold on to me I'm under your skies I'm caught in your eyes Don't you know you stopped around And all that I can see is you I'm standing where You must be my once in a lifetime, in a lifetime You must be my once in a lifetime Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make these adorable little treat bags. My mom and I made these for my sister's bridal shower favors and everyone just absolutely loved them. They're such a nice little homemade gift to give to your guests when they're walking out the door. They really weren't so bad to put together and it was actually pretty fun. So let's just get right into it. I'll show you how to make them. So obviously you're going to need some pretzels. We just got this massive container from Costco. And then of course you'll need some chocolate. We actually got these from Michael's and they have so many different colors. And these are really great because they melt down really easily and you can also buy a lot of them at once. So then for melting the chocolate, we have a little double boiler situation going on here. Um, we don't actually have a double boiler, so we just stack two pots on top of each other. The bottom pot has uh, hot water in it that's simmering, and the top pot obviously is the chocolate. And this is a really great method to use when melting chocolate, because it's not directly on the heat source, so this will keep it from burning. So you just want to keep on mixing and mixing until all the lumps are smoothed out. As you can see, it does get very smooth. This is great chocolate to use when you're dipping pretzels or whatever in it. So just keep on mixing until it's nice and smooth. And then once it's all mixed out, we're going to dip our pretzels. So we figured out that using a spatula and just kind of rolling the pretzel around in it was the best way to do this. It makes it really easy because you're not like fishing around in the pot. You can just do it right on top and it's very simple. I just want to ask can we make this moment last, moment last? So the next part is my favorite, the sprinkles. We decided to use gold, raw sugar, and clear sprinkles. And using a spoon, just go ahead and sprinkle them on. Don't you know you stopped the room? plastic cellophane bag and as you can see there's kind of like two sides or sections to this bag you want to make sure that you're putting both the pretzels and the little background piece of paper on the same side and this is just going to make sure it's really tight and secure and your pretzels will be sliding around so you're just going to go ahead and slide that piece of paper into the bag and then once we have that in there we're going to go ahead and put our pretzels in so as you can see we have a nice little background piece of paper so now just sliding in our pretzels one by one just be careful that you're not scraping the sprinkles off on that little piece of paper and we decided to put them in a certain order we did the raw sugar in the middle two gold on the side and then two clear on the end so that's it for the pretzels and they look really nice and kind of snug in there which is exactly what we want and then we did kind of a double fold of the bag at the top and just by folding it twice it just really helped seal those pretzels and keep them fresh for longer so once you have it folded all up nicely you're going to take a little paper doily and just fold it one half on the side with the pretzels and then one half on the back and then using a little stapler just going to staple that all together so simple then for the bow this is kind of difficult so you want to make sure that the bow is going all the way down to your ring finger and then using your thumb you're going to make a little loop and then you're going to loop around that loop with a ribbon so that's kind of your first little bow loop right there and now you're going to make your second so you have to kind of push the ribbon through I know it's kind of hard to see but you just push the ribbon through to the other side making that second bow loop and you may have to watch this a couple times over and over it took me forever to figure out how to do this but then you just kind of keep tugging on it and tugging on it until it's a little cute little bow so there we go 
And then using a hot glue gun, you're just going to stick that little bad boy on there and you're good to go, all finished. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little DIY video. Give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every single week. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!